Hello, Nomad Sculpt and such seamless um, patterns, yeah, texture patterns you see on the picture. And this only works with version 177. You can test it in the web demo if you like. Um, then the update is coming soon. Okay, I switch to uh, Nomad's Cult. Here, this is such a, a pattern. And here I show you the, the band here, uh, the pattern band. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. So I delete this one. Okay, this is our yeah, example object to create the pattern around the edges. So I start with the insert tool and I insert a plane here. So like this. And in version 177, it's um, here you can adjust your topology and we only need uh, division x0, nothing. Okay. And then we place a texture, this seamless texture on the plane. I use here this one. So, um, and now I rotate it a little bit. Oh, snapping is active. So, and we can validate the object and we can trim it. Make sure that hole filling is off. And I trim here this. And this, and here the solo view here, um, you see here the pattern on the plane. So the next thing is use the gizmo. And at the left side there's a pivot, change the pivot now and use the snapping. So we need the green direction is the direction of the curve repeater and leave the pivot option. Make it a little bit smaller, the, um, this band here. And now in the hierarchy, add a, a curve repeater here. And in the top pop-up menu, activate the snapping function and no spline. And let's start to place the curve on the object. Don't use the black notes. So and we can increase the count. So this is a nice count here that the, the objects are nearby. I check twenty three. 22 it could work so let's adjust the notes a little bit
you see with black notes it doesn't work. Okay, I think it's nice. So we can now validate this whole thing and uninstance everything here. Uninstance and yes. And here in the solo view, we get now this here. So, okay, the next step is when you select here the the parts, you can move, use the move tool and adjust the radius a little bit here and select the object. I turn the outline on and here bring the, the edges here to the other edges of the, of the objects. Um, only a little bit of adjusting is uh, needed. not it's not too much work here is oh it's a yes it's a reflection here so Let's check the rest of the band. Here, this is um, something we have to change here. Um, it's important that the, the nodes or the vertices are not too much with too much distance from another. So a little bit adjusting. This is the last one. I think it's okay. So now in the hierarchy, select the whole thing here. And here in the debug menu, you find here a setting at the bottom here, a merge vertices radius, activate the checkbox. And uh, a value around uh, this uh, point zero 0.02 and check check it what happens if you press join here uh, here at the top join so I think it worked oh here is a problem I think join it no Let's change the value a little bit. Now I think it's better. Here is a, a small problem. I you bring it a little bit nearer. And then try again, join. Now you see when it's a black line, then the, 
then everything is welded. And press undo and and try it again with join. Now and check the whole band. Here is another gap. Join it. I think it looks okay. So we can test it with separate and um, now at the top appears here could not separate. Now it's complete closed and welded. So in this case here I use now the world center and the X set plane to mirror from right to left and then the whole ring is complete. And the mesh is welded and now it's possible with multi-res to subdivide the whole thing. So when you leave now the solo view, you get a nice band here and now it's possible to adjust it with a move brush and so on. And But it looks, it looks real good. So here when you use now move, the move tool you can adjust it a little bit if you like but it's it's not uh, yeah needed so I think it's okay and so the next thing is you can now use here the, the baking option here you can bake the color from the band to the other mesh oh it takes a few seconds what happened Ah, we have to select the other mesh and um, now, <laughs> now the baking works. Sorry, it was my fault. So now we can hide the, the other mesh and we have this nice band on the surface. Um, yes. That's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.